Hi guys, welcome to your January 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You? Timeless reading week two for the beautiful sign of Capricorn. Um, yes, this would have been uploaded yesterday, but yesterday was my late day. You guys know, some of you guys know anyway, the third Saturday, give or take the calendar days of the month is the late day. Typically, it falls around the 15th or 16th. Late meaning that that weekend schedule goes a little later for uh, the next day for me to be off. So on those particular weekends, then you will get the uploads for the week, for the ending of that week at the end of the week, which is today. So if you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the tribe, and what's good, fat bams, and hello to my members. Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I really wanted to get you guys out, but I just, I had no energy yesterday. Um, and I didn't want to shuffle ahead of time. I know that we're still in Capricorn season and we're on the cusp, uh, pretty close to, I don't want to say the cusp, but cusp meaning, you know, uh, very loosely meaning within the week or so. But not even four or five days, typically three or five days for the cusp um, of the sun shifting into Aquarius. Um, and, you know, huge apologies, guys. You know that I am Capricorn Moon. It's been hell. It's been hell. It started when the sun shifted into Capricorn. We were already on the cusp of uncovering some things, things that had came out in the two previous, um, the two previous, uh, previous eclipses as well as whatever could have been revealed at that new moon, sorry, full moon in Cancer, which is your opposite energy. And this play on whatever the sun is, you know, you're going to have to pull from your opposite energy, that whole theory. As you guys know, I am Cancer Sun and Capricorn Moon. So whenever something is plaguing you guys, it hits me very personally. And then if I'm having to pull on my opposite energy, and it's already weakened. Now you understand. Typically, I don't have issues with delivering content. You see this wafting around me. Yeah. And this way over there too. That's how strong it is. Um, I don't have any, uh, any problems with operating in those energies because that is the very essence of who I am. They say the same thing. You guys may not be doing that great in, you know, when I say you guys can't, uh, Capricorns may not be doing that great in cancer season, you're having to pull on other, you know, your sun, I'm sorry, your moon or your, you know, or whatever your rising is or listen, it was hell. And I did not want to give you guys the message. Let me get your cards out. I did not want to give you guys the message yesterday because I know we're at the end of this and we're going to be because of the calendar days this month, we're going to be giving you week four, if I'm not mistaken, we'll be already in Aquarius season. And by that time, we'll start a brand new forward focus and everything on channel two. I'm looking forward to it. So that's my disclaimer. First card out is peace. The second card out is grief caps. And the third card out is pride. Looking at your energy and meditating on your energy, especially with the, uh, the sacred creator's oracle. Um, and giving me like an extra layer of what these mean. It is very, very obvious that peace, grief, pride, and of course, blame is plaguing the connection between you guys. There are definitely some things that went on. Capricorn, I am a loving being. of I am a being of love and I release the negative energy. The negative energy is brought on by the past. Um, I'm telling you that now, although that's the clarifier here. And then with I went one step Four for Universal Energy Clarifier from the Sacred Creator Oracle. I got your your past supports your future, which is very interesting. And we're going to touch on that because when I tell you what's underneath this, you're going to be scratching your head a little bit. So let's keep going. Now, there is a lot of things that happened between you guys in the past and your past um definitely has been holding you back from the future. Your past has definitely been doing that because again, whatever you are connecting with, much like I say in my Taurus video a lot, um, my other dominant, very dominant earth sign on my channel. Um, as a earth sign, it is very hard for you 
not to believe something that you've already seen. Eyeball, you know what I'm saying? Capricorn, it is hard for the collective Capricorn energy not to have faith what, in what's already been proven. What does that mean? That means that your past has blocked your future because in the past, this person showed they ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like that um, the Beyonce song, Best Thing I Never Had, because you showed your ass and I saw the real you. And that's what that's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling here from your perspective. But your person is saying, let's leave the past in the past. And that is the thing. How in the hell... Do you want me to leave what you show me in the past to give you faith to show me something different? Question mark in the future. That's exactly what they want. <laughs> I'm just telling you, get mad in advance. And I hear you through the screen talking about, uh, uh, Marv, they can move around. I'm just telling you, and it's going to get worse when I get into this main energy. And I cannot wait to unpack this uh, extension, the last extension of the five. <sighs> Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. You heard the words. So yes, their past behavior has definitely caused a breakdown, breakup, separation between you guys. And what they're saying is, is that they are grieving over that. And there could have been some things that they were not truthful on. I mean, they're letting it all hang out, Capricorn. So get mad in advance, lovelies. Um, and a lot of what held them back, obviously, was this pride. I love myself and see myself and everyone. A part of that pride, the way that they, the explanation, I love myself and see myself and everyone, is the very damn thing that the problem is. Because you're dealing with possibly air, you're dealing with possibly earth, you're dealing with possibly fire, or a combination of all three of those energies. Those are the dominant energies and the main um, energy on this board that I haven't told you about yet. If a person is prideful, we already know what the drawbacks is. But in addition to that, this individual really much so felt like, I see you in me, so you should act like this. Remember, when it's say I am prideful type of energy, the first place I think is the traditional, oh, you and your pride, you got too much pride to admit this, or you got too much pride to admit this, do this, whatever. But no, in addition to all of that, the person also had the nerve to feel like you should do it a certain way because that I see myself and everyone um, is there is a certain expectation that comes along with what you should do. You heard it. And blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Of course, in this energy, um, you know, that was a, it's your fault. There was no real accountability for what they've done. The good news is, is that they're starting to really see that, like I said, the past clarifying the peace through the power of love. You release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform the heart space. That's definitely something that is going on now. And Capricorn, you probably have met the match of your life, honestly. If this is a connection where you're battling yourself or this person is battling themselves with the intention of being with you, some way, somehow, it is a fight. And I say that because I'm looking at your energy here. You're a major archon of the devil. So I already know what this person is dealing with, having to fight themselves and overcome their own demons. This was uh, very, very similar to cancer. Despite, Hold on. Who had demons fighting their demons? Who had that? Scorpio. Sorry, I'm lying. Scorpio. I hope and pray I don't see water, but you guys definitely could be connecting with Scorpio. I have some Scorpio in your chart. Um, and that is very much so. Although, you know, sometimes I feel like with the attachments and all of the things that the Scorpio collective goes through, this damn devil should have been their card. And ending things and transforming things and all of that should have been our card with, for Capricorns because... When you think about what is processed and, and, and from a procedural standpoint, it seems like our process is very much so ending it and is either going to transform with the person or without it. But, you know, so there could be this Capricorn Scorpio type of thing that's going on. Grief is being clarified by integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul to manifest love with your every action. 
Truth was not demonstrated. There is a strong truth here. We have Knight of Swords and Page of Swords energy down here, which I have not showed you yet. Um, and obviously we have justice. So truth is definitely going to be a major thing that's going to be coming to the forefront for you guys. Peacefulness is being clarified, is clarifying pride. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love brings calmness. This person had a lot of things going on in their head. Okay, where it is? They had a lot of things going on in their head. A part of them, um, the blame is being clarified by patience. They're not very patient individuals. You are able to let universal energy of transformation, check that out, move according to its own love and rhythm. Um, it, whoever has Scorpio, uh, I really feel like, you know, this could be a play on things. Um, we do have, okay, that just fell right out of my hand. The um, one more layer of clarification for you is the card of 11. This is your past supports your future. You got prosperity, sisters, our happiness and joy. You do have the sacred, fla uh, the sacred flow of yes, clarifying the integrity portion of this. I'm not going into those particular cards. I'm going to read them intuitively. If I have time, I will read the book messages on these um, in the extent in the extension step ahead one step ahead is all you need so there is a individual here who has put you through a lot there is a strong indication of not using the proper discernment or judgment in the past not acting a certain way in the past the way that it was conducive for the success of this union between you guys and now stepping forward and not wanting to run away from that which could be a good thing and a bad thing like coming towards you with this page of swords as the first card out let me write that down because i forget hold on page of swords as the first card out indicating that they've, they've been hell They've been a hellion, as my mom said. They really put you through a lot. I take care of the detail and stay in control. Um, this is an uh, individual. This is the energy of obstacles. This is the energy of um, things that has went on between you two that has not been the greatest. But more importantly, and I believe Taurus had this page of swords as well. One of the zodiac signs did. It could have been either one of the water signs too. This is definitely um, an individual who will spy to kind of make sure the I take care of the detail and stay in control is a very childish energy. It's an energy where the details are not being revealed. They're secretly dealing with things on the back end to make sure that they watch their investment. Um, I'll get back to that. We do have the devil, your major arcana. I am free of whatever is holding me back in the heart space. We do have the knight of swords. I choose my battles carefully. Hmm. We do have the five of wands. Okay. I stand my ground and look for peace. There's that peace again. Uh, we end this with the empress and the main five up here. I create what I choose naturally and with joy and it we we will we have our bonus here bonus main is justice i speak my truth and fairness to myself top of the deck sprinkling this energy on everything is now this king of pentacles i am sure of my place in the world i want to point out that underneath is the 10 of cups i have a wish i have all i wish for in my relationships this individual is definitely walking into his or her um, king or queen of pentacles. Um, although this is the king, you can change it based upon gender because that has no role here. It really is up to who, what you're dealing with. Um, I feel like looking at these two cards, Capricorn, this person has definitely tried to control the narrative in a way, but not, but, but, has tried to hide it, but is not hiding it anymore. So when I say that they're going to be coming clean, they're going to be coming clean with the truth of, yeah, I did this, but I did it because of, and it's going to be something that make you have a screwball face like, what? 
the talk that you guys sit down and have, and I would not be surprised if heart to heart conversation comes out. This person knows damn well that they were a hellion in the past. And what they're asking of you is to let this past go so you guys can move forward. If you haven't gotten that revelation, it's coming. For the simple fact that the astrology is going to change, I'm going to be bringing you where this great conjunction is going to be hitting you in what house based upon your degrees of your Capricorn. I want you, and I'm going to reference that video. And I have not put it up yet because I don't want to put it up until Chinese New Year. The first new moon of this year was in Capricorn. Um, that video is up and it's being edited. Um, so, you know, I want you guys to understand and that hit you in your first house, by the way, it should have, because this is your season. So it should have been hitting you in the first house because this is your month. So, you know, this is about also Capricorn taking some stock in what needs to change within yourself. Maybe a shift in perspective into how you looked at some things. It's not going to get easier with this individual and this individual stepping up and, and saying all of the bad shit that you already knew. Um, before we get the romantic intentions, there is very much so a offering you something um, of a more uh, consistent commitment type of perspective it's almost an energy of this is what i'm offering this is who i am you already love me so accept this um yes i know that there has been conflict quarreling and competition well no there has been yeah yeah yes there has um there could have been situations that could have made you feel like you were competing capricorn there definitely was some things that were not said correctly. This person is feeling like they had to hold their ground. And now you're going to probably hard start to hear from them. Well, let's talk about what you did. You've always kind of maintained this relationship with this individual where you were always right. And Lord knows, um, I understand. Because you are. A lot of the things that you're saying, this person, it may be air or a fire moon very impulsive if they're fire and kind of overthink things um if there are in that air moon and you have always been the rock or the voice that has been um what do i say the 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 level-headed one because that is one of our strengths as capricorn energy however this level-headedness is not the greatest for some emotional type of things, depending on where your Capricorn is. Now, if you are a Capricorn sun with a different type of moon, I, that's not what I'm talking about. But if you happen to be a, definitely if you are maybe something else and you have an earth moon like myself, or you have a, a, an earth um, in, your, um, in your Mars, even if you don't, honestly, universally, universal universally speaking okay because i can't talk today there's gonna be some changes that need to happen within yourself and and basically this person is ready to step forward and say yes i f this up but this is what you have to do and i said that whole thing to say that and i showed you the face that we are gonna make or that you're gonna make and it's gonna make you feel as if you're gonna have to check some things and you might reject it at first, but I'm urging you to kind of dig deep and find out whether this person has some validity to what they're saying. I mean, you don't love your, well, you love yourself, but I'm saying you're not in a relationship. Well, you are in a relationship with yourself, but you, you're you not on the other end of words that come out of your mouth. So if it's good enough for, you know, they're coming at you with, yes, I've been this, I've been that. Um, But what about you? That's what I'm hearing. You are the devil. What about your attachments? What You know, that's what I'm going to be hearing. Um, that's going to be the challenge. I do see the Empress here and it's justice. With all of that, that may piss you off. They're going to be coming in though, Capricorn, saying, listen, I want to I want to rebirth this. I want to, you know, our past and everything that we went through takes us to who what we are today. It's time to let it go. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? 
Um, what they do bring obstacles. The communication between you guys is not the greatest. Um, but now on all of this, it's talking to me and speaking to me in a way where we're going to be birthing something brand new with the Empress energy. And I want it to be fair, but I want it to be fair. I don't want to just come in and say, Capricorn, I'm sorry. This person got um, big cojones. They got big, yes, they are coming at you like, okay, I'm coming like this. And I didn't do this, but what about you? So I kind of appreciate the person. If they're coming from this king of pentacles type of mentality, um, it's not a knight of pentacles, it's a king. So he coming like, look, this the pentacle, this the truth, this is what, what I want to create. We have to step into this together and let the past go. You guys, I'm telling you. Clarify page of yes. So... This person, let your friends help you, have been asking for some support from others. Devil, pay attention to the red flags. Absolutely. The signs are cautioning you. And this was the information that, the information, the uh, things that has went down in that devil mentality. The red flags are very much so wrapped up in this devil. Worth waiting for is the Knight of Swords. Listen, this knight of swords was brash. He didn't want to talk and he thinks he knows everything. And he comes in with these messages, but it's time to heal. Heal these family issues. Love your love life forgives as you forgive your parents for some of you guys. This is a lot of things that they're that they're dealing with. It is safe for them to love you. They want to open up the heart and their heart and receive the highest energy of all. Clarify justice here. Yes, that is interesting. Release your ex. And of course, the top of the deck, the king wants to reconcile. That's what he wants to do. I'm telling you guys, if you are catching this, this is an established love. This is an established love. I do not see separation. So I do not feel like this individual took this as an uh, 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 indication that this relationship was over. Um, although it could have been, now, I want to show you what's very close separation and trust. And I also want to give you some themes about engagement. There is a, some engagement themes here, whether it be you were engaged, you talked about getting engaged, it didn't work, da, 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 something with engagement has been put on the back burner. All of this stuff is here. You could have been in separation. Trust obviously came up as really one of the main themes now they definitely are ready to reconcile. We're going to go ahead with Sacred Soulmates uh, Cap and get some patterns here. And honestly, I think I'm just going to do it across the board for you. That'll save us one step in the extension. Because all of them, you know, they're, this ain't no lovey-dovey shit. That They're not blowing smoke up your ass. They're saying, look, this is what we did. Yes, this all this was bull. <laughs> Let's let it go, though. Can we let it go? Can, can we for once be on the same page and let all of that go? Because I'm coming to you clean. Here, I'm clean. Hands up, don't shoot. I'm clean. Um, I know that there's family issues. I know that my family was a this, that, and the third. I know all of this. I want to be realistic about it now. I want to talk about it now. I've, I've put you through this, but, you know, I kind of want to point out some things that, you know, you did for me. And uh, you're going to be looking like... What I did, yeah. <laughs> and I want you to know, honestly, you know, we're, we don't back down from those conversations. It's time to listen to what someone else said that you might have done. Like, it's not that you have to agree with it, but they really have a lot to say to you. Clarify, let your friends help you. We have dreams. So a part of their evolution has been coming to them um, and the important dreams that they've been having lately. Pay attention to the red track, the red tracks, the red flags is recharge. Retreat is now important for self-care. So in the, in the separation Capricorn, they definitely had some time to focus on themselves. I'm going to probably get a self-care, um, a sacred, the sacred self-care oracle to see Red flag is clarifying, worth waiting for. 
Tune in to the subtle energy you are receiving about the, the situation. Listen to the messages from your body tr and trust your gut intuition. And in all of that, they started to realize that you were worth waiting for. Do you understand? Clarify healing family issues because they know that it's going to be hard. One is they feel very much so guilty. Guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions. Past, this is like the third clarifier that there was some stuff that happened in the past. Um, over past actions and words have hindered this. That needs to be um, healed. I want to also get into, because another card came out for this, this healing family issues. I want to touch on this right now. They've judged you, Capricorn. They have talked about you like a dog. They have done some things in this family his or her family to make you feel real jacked up. And you're probably feeling like there is no way. But I'm telling you, that is exactly what this person is saying. They feel you, and, and like I told you in the beginning, it's hard to convince you of, of that something is going to change when you've already been shown what it is, what a person is. That's the, and that is one of the biggest things with earth energy. <clears throat> not necessarily Cardinal Capricorn, definitely a bigger problem for Taurus, but nonetheless an issue. Again, depending on what your chart is made up of, you may be willing to forgive a little bit easier, but it is definitely harder for Earth energy overall, all, overall to believe something different after someone has shown them something. It's basically what I'm saying. This five of wands was the conflict, coral, and competition. They could have upheld your partner's Capricorn in this mess. They could have lied for them, all types of stuff. I know you're going to tell me in the, in the comments. And there is a, um, there is a huge family part of this is another reason why you didn't want to marry into this family. You look at the family, um, cause you know what you're inheriting. You're like, these are some messy such and such and blah, blah, blah. But now the, your person is saying, but your hands ain't clean though. Your hands is not clean. You may feel like, but my family don't influence me. I'm hearing this whole argument right here. I don't know what this is about. I'm just, I'm going somewhere else. But for this portion, I, I hear this for you. Well, my family don't control me and blah, blah, blah. And they like, so what? Your family still got, has caused some issues between us. It's time for new patterns. Do things differently in order to bring health and vitality. So that is exactly what they want to do. They're coming in to say, my family is a mess. They're expecting you to step up to the plate and admit your half. And they're expecting you to climb aboard of these new patterns. And I'm actually shocked. I kind of respect this person for coming in and saying this. It may not fly, but that ain't the point. I Listen, me, I love a person that can come to the table and say, I F this up. Let's talk about it. I love that. Let's address the elephant in the room. That's what this person feels like they're doing. It is safe for you to love and the emperor's being clarified by the lessons of Neptune. So you guys have dealt with a lot of denial, illusion, and deception of self or another. Self-love, boundaries, and detachment are important. Now it's safe. They went through all of this, okay? Betrayal. Absolutely clarify and release your ex. The ex has played or X energy has played a huge, huge um, deal into this Capricorn um, with letting or their energy still being lingering. The X could, this is the ticket. This is the ticket. Before I get back onto this, um, I just want to say that the top of the deck is mutual symbiotic. They're saying that once you guys get over all of this, this king is saying, now we're on the same page. This is what I want. I want us to be a mutual symbiotic versus a parasitic symbiotic. This is a beneficial and balanced connection. Both partners have the same feelings, ideas, values, and shared goals. That's what I want. And I, I, I appreciate this person for, for coming at you with the real. If this is how they're coming at you, don't make it fit if it doesn't. Back to this betrayal. The ex has caused a whole lot of issues. As it pertains to the family, the family has had or some type of uh, really strong family person um, for your individual cross watchers, these people in your family. 
um, Capricorn, maybe some people in your family and vice versa. The families is, is a huge thing here. Trust this part of the journey, understanding that through the pain that you and other, wait, that this teaching through the pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher capacity. Your person has had to step up to the plate and handle some things in the family. It's not for you to know. It's for you to find out. They're going to tell you. They expect the very changes that they're putting into place that they're hoping, Capricorn, that you will do the same. They have a list of grievances and some things that they want to talk about as far as them feeling like what you've done, just to let you know. Um, let your friends help you. Pay attention to the red flags worth waiting for, healing family issues. It is safe for you to love and release your ex. Capricorn, I've done major transformations. I am trying to move beyond the past. I no longer want our past to hurt our future. I no longer want our past. I now feel like our past and all of its, its, its triumphs and tragedies support a future. Past, past, past. That's all I keep hearing in this reading. If it is coming up, let's deal with it. This person wants to reconcile. I no longer want our past to hurt our future. They want reconciliation. Um, we're going to go through and unpack the rest of this in the extended. I want to let you know that it is going to be fair. I also want to let you know, um, normally I look for certain things when the person is sorry and I don't know this person. All I'm saying is, is that I really do feel and respect where they're coming from. They're not coming with big eyes and little U's. They really do want to do this right this time, Capricorn. So it's nice to get a, a different type of energy for you. Somebody stepping up that has been otherwise weak, stepping into their power now. That's what they're doing. They're coming to get their woman back. They're coming to get their soulmate back, their woman, their man. They're coming to get their life back, okay? They no longer want to be without you. I will name it some version of that. Thank you so much for everybody else. I will see you next week when we do it again. And to the rest of you, I will see you in the extended. Bye, guys.